everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking about Simbrief as part of my Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 tutorial series. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to create a flight plan with Simbrief. I've already shown you how to manually input them on one of my other videos if you check out the playlist. Uh, but in this one, I'm going to show you how to uh, load them automatically into the flight simulator for some people that don't want to manually do them yet, but they do want their own Simbrief flight plans. Uh, so what we're going to do today then is very simply you need a login once you've logged in uh, to Simbrief which I'll leave a link in the description down below uh, you'll be able to dispatch so what we want to do is go to your dispatch and go to your dispatch systems and then at this point what you want to do because it'll be your first time possibly you just want to create a new flight okay so once we get to this point of creating a new flight we're going to be flying an easy jet today uh, so EJU put in your aircraft code our flight number today can be uh, 1025. Uh, this is just a fictional flight plan. It's not a real route for them. Uh, okay, so we'll depart EGKK, which is Gatwick, and we will fly into Dublin, EIDW. And now it's gonna start doing a lot of work. Now, as we go down, it's now filled in quite a few things for you. Uh, it's given us our alternative, which is EGCC. Uh, we've got a date and you can now pick your flight time. So say we want to go at three, three o'clock in the afternoon, say, hang on three o'clock. Okay. One thing you do need to do for your fuels and stuff is you need to pick your aircraft. And obviously we're going to take the A320. Now we can change some of this stuff if we want, but what this is now basically doing, this is deciding your flight profiles for your climbs, your descents, etc. We don't really need to touch this. Obviously we can change our registration at this point and fin number if you wish, and you can input that into the uh, simulator and also this call sign you'd need to put into the simulator if you want them to use it okay so it reckons we'll be in one hour 25 minutes we'd be departing runway 26 left okay so look you could pick if you wanted to go out on a different runway you could pick that and our arrival runway is 34 into dublin that is fine so it reckons it's 20 minutes taxi out 10 minutes taxi in we're carrying no extra fuel today uh, passengers if you wanted to pick a certain amount of passengers for your weights uh, you're more than welcome you can do that as well now the Neo can take 194, but we don't quite have the Neo on here. But look, I just automatically, and it just gives you a random figure. Uh, cargo, we're going to take no cargo. Zero fuel weight automatic. It's all going to do that. Our captain's name. Perfect. And as you can see now, once we come down here, they've given us a flight plan. So if we look here to our route, this is what they've given us. So they want us to take the Novmix 1X uh, departure, and they want us to take the Albion uh, arrival. And here is some of the airways and uh, waypoints. Now, if we don't like that one, we can now change them if we want. Um, if we'd rather, you know, we can do something a bit like that, maybe. Um, we can actually create our own as well, if you really want to, if you're manually inputting this into the simulator. But because we're not, um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep with the first one. It's kind of handy. It's nice and small. Try not to give yourself too much to do. Okay, so that's a perfect flight plan for us. Lovely. Okay, once you're happy with this, all we then have to do now is go generate OFP. And it's gonna say confirm, and we're gonna say yes. Now this will take a couple of seconds, and it is now going to create our flight plan. And here it is. So our first big lot of details to check. Uh, we are taking flight number, our aircraft, call sign. We're going from EGKK to EIDW. We've got our alternative. It reckons our cruise level should be at 36,000 feet. Uh, there's our block time, our tow, zero fuel weight, and our block fuel. There is also our routing. Um, AirX cycles, like I said at the moment, Microsoft Flight Simulator is not connected to AirX cycles, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but if you, if one that does happen, we do need to keep them up to date. I use Navigraphs personally. Now, unfortunately, that is a paid subscription, but it, you know, I really like Navigraphs. Okay, so when we come down here, there's a few bits of information up here. Um, some people would like to know a little bit more about these, uh, and that's fine. So you got your tow weights, your zero fuel weights, so that's your estimate, so you can check them into your uh, MACDO once you've inputted it. Uh, cost index, people keep asking me where the cost index is, so today's cost index is five. It can give you some weather charts if you want to use these weathers, or the simulator will create real well, so you wouldn't really mess with these too much. Uh, if we keep going down, you can see what they reckon fuel-wise. Take off fuel, we should be at 5706. Uh, there we go. So it's given us our block fuel of 5676. Yep, perfect. 
and we can still keep going down and you can see a few more bits and pieces here here is your timings here is your pack so i reckon 154 passengers payload of 16.1 zero fuel weight of 59.8 uh, fuel blocked at 5.7 and our tow would be at 65.3 so on the last tutorial when you saw me input all these into the MacDo, this is where I was getting my figures. As we go down you can see more, more details into the waypoints. Um, don't really need to go into this too much. You can see your climb profiles now as well. And then if we keep going down further and further down. We will be able to get some chart details. A couple of charts down here that can be quite useful. So here we go here's our route we'll have weather wind charts etc if you're going really in depth into this you can see here we go there's our top of climb top of descent etc so you can see all that kind of stuff but yeah these the sim brief is very good for all of this stuff it's very handy um now there are two ways you can input this data you can automatically just put it load it into the simulator as a company flight plan or you can manually input them. I quite like to manually do them because it gives you something to do in the aircraft um, and you guys like to see that kind of stuff. Um, but say if you're not too sure on the Mac do still and you just kind of want your own flight plans here and you want to input them into the simulator, I will show you how to do that now. So what you need to do is download the FMS and then you're gonna see all of this stuff here. You're just gonna click that off for a second. Now flight uh, sim brief can be used <coughs> Simbrief can be used for a whole range of flight simulators from PD3, X-Plane 11, FSX, 2020, you know, so any of these you can use this for. What you need to do is look for uh, FS 2020 and press download. Then you're going to come down it's going to download into your download bar. Okay, next, what you need to do, now some people put this in the app data folders. This can go in any folder you want. Now I keep my flight stuff here in flight disk 2020 on a separate hard drive uh, so what i've done is create a new folder called flight plan so what we're going to do is click on flight plan now where it's downloaded into your downloads all i've done is cut it out and what we're going to do now is paste it in and you're going to see here it says egkk to eidw microsoft flight simulator pln that is all we need to do that is it now what we're going to do now is load up the simulator okay now that we've loaded up the simulator we need to go into the world map and you're going to see here there's nothing here so that flight plan that we want to load that we just done on simbrief if we go down to load and save load this up you can see it says it wants a, a flight plan now this is actually taking me to the app data roaming microsoft folder this is where most people actually put it down here uh, but of course like i said i've put it in a separate drive uh, under my flight plan i'm just going to open And here you go, it has loaded our Simbri flight plan with all the waypoints that we have inputted, um, which is perfect. Now, when we are here, we can do a few things. We can change our flight level. It says 36,000 feet, which is what is on our Simbri. But say if you wanted lower, you know, we could put 32,000 feet. It will save that for you. That is no problem. Okay, so once we're done that, if you want to go into your flight conditions, you can change these presets. Uh, obviously we need to change this to three o'clock that's the one thing it hasn't done is change our time unless you're doing real world time etc if you want to use preset stuff here or if you're going to use live weathers etc uh, you can change all that there you will need to configure the time for the flight unless you're doing real life time and if you've made sim brief just before you fly it will give you your real time as well literally at the time you're at uh, so there we go guys there is a very simple way to use simbrief to load it automatically into the simulator like i said if you guys want to automatically uh, do it this is the way to do it if you guys want to manually input like i said go watch any of my other videos from uh, the boeings or the uh, airbuses tutorials and you'll be able to see me manually input uh, that data uh, but it, th this is a lot easier way if you're enjoying this content please do subscribe down below to the channel hit the bell icon for notifications i upload nearly every single day and i love that for myself thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now